It's Today FM. How are you all? It's Dermot and Dave. And this looks really cool. Like, so next month, people all around Ireland are going to be running around like mad jokes, solving puzzles, competing <coughs> challenges, and basically treating Ireland like a giant escape room. It's been billed as a new interactive outdoor escape experience. And on the line is Caroline Barry from The Big Escape to tell us about it. Hey, Caroline. Hi, how are you doing? It's, I'm good. It's Dermot here. This sounds very exciting, Caroline, um, because I love those shows uh, where people run around. I love The Cube and I love um, Crystal Maze and all those kinds of things. And I've done a couple of escape rooms in my time. How is this one? How does it work? Well, basically, it is a citywide escape game. So we are really um, turning the city into a giant playground, for want of a better term, really. Um, people will play on their smartphones. We've got um, a few live dates where people can buy tickets for. So you are all kind of playing together outside or you can opt to play um, anytime. Um, you race around the city centre. You're trying to complete all these ranges of puzzles and challenges um, to kind of pull off the casino heist, essentially. So you're meeting all these virtual characters along the way. This one is a GPS-based game. Um, so you need to get within a certain distance of the points in order for the challenge or the task to pop up. So it's aimed at teams of up to six and I like you say it's self-managed meaning you can take as long as you want and break for lunch or pints so, you can of course so yeah. <laughs> a gang of you could head out solve a couple of puzzles you know grab something to eat have a few drinks and then go back out and, and just keep chipping away at it you could, absolutely, yeah. So for the live events that we're doing, you log in any time between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Um, and you can take, you know, 45 minutes to complete it if you want to, or an hour, um, or you can take five hours, depending on how many pints you want along the way. <laughs> right, again, I'd say your problem-solving skills are um, compromised <laughs> if you do to take yeah. that approach to it. So exactly. I'm going to list off all the towns that, that it's happening in so people can find their nearest and you can correct me if I've missed any. Athlone, Waterford, Carlo, Killarney, Sligo, Castlebar, Clonmel, Portlaoise, Cork City, Dundalk, Ennis, Wexford, Dublin, Kilkenny, Galway, Limerick. That sound about right? That's it, absolutely, yes. And they're starting on the 15th of August and running right the way through to the 31st of October. So do you have to do it on a particular day or can you do it just, uh, is it available to you over a period of time? Absolutely. So you've got two options. So you can go onto our website and you'll see both of them there. It's thebigescape.com and you can buy a ticket to play you know, this afternoon if you wanted to or tomorrow, any time of your choice. Or you can take part in one of our live events. So the live events are on a specific day, which means that if you buy a ticket for them, we will send you the login details and the starting point. You go to that starting point on the day at that time you log in and then you take part in the game. So you are taking part in essentially a, a wider escape game rather than just maybe your group of um, five or six friends that you want to play with. That's cool. How did you end up getting into all this, Caroline? <laughs> well, we um, were an events company based in Dublin, Creative Events, and a couple of years ago, we, well, we've been doing scavenger hunts and things like that on tablets and, and iPhones for a few years. And then we love escape rooms here, and we had some kind of team building escape games that we were developing, and we decided to bring it virtual. So this game has actually been in production for the last couple of years, and we launched it last year. We were all ready for, um, I suppose, a, a big launch this year. Unfortunately, with COVID-19, that pushed our plans back a little bit. But, um, but it does work kind of, for social distancing, though, doesn't it? Because you're outside, you, you don't necessarily need to be on top of anybody and you can still be playing away in a group. Absolutely, absolutely. So now that people are able to get out and about a little bit more, it's the perfect socially distanced activity. So you can run around the city centre, you're only with the group that you're there with. You don't have to come into close contact with anybody. Um, so, so it really is a really good activity to get out and about and, and have a bit of fun. Mm. Um, that's cool, Caroline. Um, the website is thebigescape.com forward slash locations if you want to book tickets or go and see where your nearest one is. Thanks, Caroline. Pleasure to talk to you. That's great, Dermot. Thanks a million. Bye. Bye. Uh, sounds really cool, isn't it? I'd be up for that. Just going around in a bit of a gang and having a laugh and stopping off here, there and everywhere. Yeah. The only thing is, is would you be competitive? Uh, pretty competitive, yeah. yeah. See, I'm competitive and I always am the person that ruins the fun in these situations. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Buzzkill Reedy, yeah. that's what they call him. Uh, what do you think? 87 102 You found those escape rooms and all those... Uh, I did one in Spain with the kids, uh, uh, all as a family. We did it uh, there last year and we really, really loved it.